The west coast of Madagascar has the island's largest area of mangroves. They provide a habitat for fish, crab and shrimp, which provides the main sources of income for the region's inhabitants. But this ecosystem is under threat due to illegal uh, logging in the area. Here's more. In Mami's family, once a crab fisherman, always a crab fisherman. Earning nearly 80 euros a month, twice the minimum wage in Madagascar, Mami has had little reason to complain about his work, until now, as a decreasing supply of crabs is threatening his livelihood. Before, there were lots of crabs here, but now there are fewer. I think it's because of climate change. In the past, the sea was very far, but today it's coming closer and closer. Climate change may have had an impact, but so has deforestation. For the past five years, Mami has been illegally cutting down mangrove trees, a habitat for crabs and fish for the wood, which is also used for construction of huts or as firewood. During high season, it's easy to catch crabs, but during low season, it's very difficult. So you have to find another source of income. Outside the village, there are people buying mangrove wood to build houses. At the time, I used to chop the wood to sell to those people. Here the mangrove trees have been totally decimated. The environmental consequences of this deforestation are grave. It speeds up the erosion of the whole area because there's no more mangrove trees. It also speeds up the rising level of seawater inland because there's no barrier, since mangroves act as a barrier against erosion and strong winds like cyclones. Mami has now stopped illegally tree cutting. Along with other villagers, he joined a reforestation program which has replanted 340 hectares of mangrove trees in the region in the last six years alone.